Hello everyone! This is Sorry and Target welcoming you back to another Carnivores Mod Showcase, where today we are taking a trip back to the Arctic Sector to hunt for one of the rarest and most elusive prehistoric mammals on the dinosaur planet, a cave lion, modeled, sounded, and animated by Daubeny. <laughs> Cave lions are among the most well-known of the extinct Cenozoic big cats, arguably second only to the infamous Smilodon, and for good reason. These powerful predators lived alongside and hunted such great megafauna as mammoths and megaloceros. Their frozen remains pulled from the permafrost have helped build our understanding of the lost Ice Age world. And there's just something unique about seeing an animal so well known for living in one specific kind of habitat, thriving in the opposite environmental extreme. Now on Earth, cave lions went extinct as recently as just 13,000 years ago. But on the dinosaur planet of FMMUV32, the frigid felines still patrol the cold mountains of the Arctic sector. And alongside Smilodon and Barborophilus, are among just a handful of big cats Dino Hunt Corp scientists have discovered so far. FMM cave lions are smaller and stockier than their distant saber-toothed cousins, and prefer to live exclusively in the higher reaches of the sector's mountainous expanses, sheltered by impassable terrain from all but the most brutal of wild creatures and weather conditions. Males do not sport a distinguishable mane like their savanna-dwelling namesakes. Aside from being larger, they are virtually identical to the females, and their deep roars can be heard echoing for miles across the cold tundras. Occasionally, these cave lions will hunt, travel, and live together in small prides, often comprised of a dominant male alongside females and cubs. But even solitary lions have been known to temporarily form small coalitions to take down large prey in these harsh, icy environments. The cave lion's compact, bulky build allows it to literally tackle a variety of tough arctic critters, from brontoteri to bears. And without having to worry about delicate saber fangs breaking in combat, this big cat can dive right into the heat of battle using its thick, wide skull and huge neck muscles to absorb hits and deal deadly damage to violently struggling prey. These lions are well camouflaged, stealthy, and durable, which makes them an alluring yet elusive prize for determined Dino Hunt clientele. Ice Age themed carnivores content is as welcome as it is rare. So this new cave lion add-on is one you guys don't want to miss. Oftentimes, cave lions are depicted in paleo media as being covered in white fur, which on a surface level is an understandable design choice, given the snowy conditions in which the animals lived. However, preserved remains suggest that the lion's fur was closer in color to its modern day relatives, and I do appreciate that this carnivore's cave lion depiction doesn't go for the easy, stereotypical white color scheme, instead adopting a warm gray base coat with accents of white on the face and dark patterns down the neck and back, all wrapped up in a beautifully canon style texture design. Perhaps my only gripe with this cave lion would be the critter's walk speed. Now I think because the cave lion can optionally replace Smilodon on classic Ice Age engines, 
It needs to be able to match the lanky, fanged feline's brisk walking pace, which admittedly does look a little bit awkward on such a short, compact animal. It never quite looks like it's stealthily moving through the undergrowth, taking its time to make sure it's not noticed. It looks more like it's constantly trying to keep pace with something. What few big cats we do have in modern carnivores mods tend to walk at a slower, stealthier pace, a speed I personally think is more fitting for feline predators. So I think maybe slowing the cave lion's brisk walk down into a sneakier stalk would help elevate it into the elusive prize it ought to be. Now, as mentioned, this cave lion add-on can either replace Smilodon on the main hunting roster of older Ice Age engines, or appear as a randomly spawning extra huntable in the Modder's Edition engine. Personally, I like to keep it as an extra huntable, to keep its rare, elusive nature intact. And if that's the route you'd like to take as well, I'd recommend hunting these big cats in the mountainous forests of Hannibal Meltdown a new Ice Age DLC map crafted by Fan Tomahawk. Basically, all Ice Age maps land somewhere on the spectrum of either being completely covered in snow, having no snow at all, or being split 50-50 right down the middle. Rarely do these Arctic sector environments showcase a healthy mix of snowdrifts and exposed foliage, which makes Hannibal Meltdown all the more unique as the reserve beautifully blends together a balance of snow and shrubs to create one of the most natural-looking polar places to hunt. Dense mountainous forests surround lowland plains and grasslands cut through by river systems, providing ample opportunities for predators and prey alike to compete for survival. While big herbivores graze in the more open areas, predators hunt among the dark trees, using the thick undergrowth to ambush unwary animals. Distant lion roars can be heard echoing through the mountain passes, identifying this rocky, high-altitude area as an ideal place to hunt FMM's newest big cat. DLC Ice Age maps may be few and far between, but the ones we've gotten so far have been spectacular additions. Additions that I've been more than happy to either add alongside or outright replace the vanilla Ice Age maps if need be, and Hannibal Meltdown is no exception. The way the cold, mountainous topography and flora come together creates a rich, interesting, and natural Arctic environment to explore. And like Phantomahawk's previously showcased map, the Shivering Aeon, Hannibal Meltdown easily ranks among my favorite Ice Age maps to hunt on. Alright, so there you go guys, a brand new feline predator and a new frigid place to hunt it are now available for download, and as always, their respective download links can be found in the description below. So what do you guys think of the new cave lion? What's your favorite member of FMM's growing big cat roster? And what's your favorite Ice Age map to hunt on? Be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. Thanks as always for watching guys, you are all truly the best and I will see you guys next time.